So we're here at the example table, and in this video we're going to be talking about improper integrals. So when we originally talk about integrals, we talk about things like the integral from a to b of f of x dx. And we talk about this when f is maybe continuous, or has fairly nice discontinuities, For example, if we sketch a function here, something that's just a line, and then it jumps up here to another line. And this function has it, is uh, not continuous, but it's still integral, integrable. But what happens if we want to look at something like 1 over x? So if we want to look at the integral from 0 to 1 of 1 over x dx. How can we make sense of this? Well, our normal technique isn't going to work because this function goes off to infinity as x goes to 0. But what we can try is instead of finding the integral from 0 to 1, we'll find the integral from, let's say, a to 1. We'll find this area inside here. And then we'll move a a little bit closer to 0, and then a little bit closer to 0, and closer and closer and closer, and we'll see whether those areas are approaching some limit. And that's how we're going to define something like the integral from 0 to 1 of 1 over x. So let's, let's look at this in detail. So the integral from 0 to 1 of 1 over x dx is equal to, by definition, the limit as a approaches 0 from above of the integral from a to 1 of 1 over x dx. And this we can deal with, because a is now not 0, right? We're taking the limit as a approaches 0. a is no longer 0. So this is the limit as a approaches 0 from above. And we'll use the fundamental theorem to figure this out using an antiderivative. Antiderivative of 1 over x is natural log of x. And we'll evaluate this between 1 and a. Well, when we uh, evaluate natural log of 1, we get 0. And this is minus natural log of a. Ooh, of course, I should be writing limit as a approaches 0 from above. So we get 0 minus the natural log of a. Well, as we send a to 0, natural log of a approaches negative infinity. So this is infinity. So, underneath the curve, 1 over x, between 0 and 1, there is, in some sense, infinite area. Let's get another example. Let's now evaluate the integral from 0 to 1 of 1 over, not x, but the square root of x. So, same technique as before, this equals, by definition, the limit as a approaches 0 from above, integral from a to 1, 1 over the square root of x dx. And this is the limit as a approaches 0 from above of 2 times the square root of x evaluated between a and 1. Because 2 times the square root of x is an antiderivative of 1 over x. So this is the limit as a approaches 0 from above of 2, right, evaluate this at 1, and then subtract 2 times the square root of a. Well, we send a to 0, this term goes to 0, so this equals 2. Let's look at one more example of a different kind of improper integral. So this is improper because this function approaches infinity as x approaches 0. 
Another way to get an improper integral is when one of the limits of integration is, well, if the top limit is infinity or the bottom limit is negative infinity. So let's look at an example. Integral from 1 to infinity, 1 over x squared dx. Well, how can we define this in a way that makes sense using the same idea that we used here? Well, we can't evaluate a function at infinity, but we can evaluate it at ever larger values. So if we take the limit as b approaches infinity of the integral from 1 to b of 1 over x squared dx, well, this is something we can figure out. And this is how we define an integral like this, an improper integral that is improper because one of the limits of integration is either infinity or negative infinity. So what do we get here? We get the limit as b approaches infinity of negative 1 over x evaluated from 1 to b. So when we evaluate this at b, we get negative, uh, not negative b, negative 1 over b minus the evaluation at, neg at uh, 1, so we get negative 1 over 1. As b goes to infinity, this first term disappears, and we have minus negative 1, so this is positive 1. So using this definition, we can define the area under 1 over x squared from 1 to infinity to be 1.